Hello and welcome to BFS Wargaming. So we're here for another battle report. This time, I brought up White Scars. And Tom has brought the Chaos. Or should I say, Carbon Shrike. Yeah, it's locked down haircuts, Sarah. There's no haircuts going on at the moment, so. So, what we're going to be doing is... Death Guard um, and Thousand Sons is just a mix of the two. Well, slightly. It's only really one model from the Yeah, Death well, Guard. I... I want to try them out, so yeah, no, really good. So Tom said to me he wanted to try out because you know with everything opening back up, there's going to be tournaments and stuff going on. So we wanted to try some competitive lists. So this is a white scars list I've been working on. You know, I haven't had that much chance to play. It has changed since the last time I played it. So and Tom hasn't had much chance to play it either. So this is literally um, sort of like a, a test game, see how they do, see how we think they work. We might make yeah. adjustments to them afterwards and that sort of thing. There's a, well, I, I want to try units that hadn't been played for a while, but I still think they could be quite good in the current metalized angles. Yeah. Yeah, even yeah, though they're up to nine points, they're still a good unit. Yeah. And, and obviously Thousand Suns have got a, a new codex come in, but we don't know when. Could be next year at this rate. Yeah, yeah. Probably will be next year. So, um, yeah, so we're going to... Jump into the lists and see what we've brought. Okay, so 2,000 points of my White Scars successor destroyers. They're just played as White Scars, but because they go with the channel colour. So we have two patrols. So the HQs for the patrols. The first one is the Master of Sanctity Chaplain on bike. And he has the... Litany of Hate, the Canticle of Hate, and the Mantra of Strength. Um, he also has the Rights of Battle or Rights of War. I can't remember which one it is, um, but it's basically the one that gives you the six inch aura core get objectives secured. Then I have the Smash Captain on bike. Um, he has Thunderhammer Storm Shield, and he has the Relic bike that um, you can move, fly in the movement phase. And he also has Hunter's Instinct, giving plus one to hit, plus one to wound against monsters and vehicles. Then we have two troop choices, so one for each patrol. We have a unit of five infiltrators. We then have in fast attack, in one patrol we have two units of three attack bikes, all with multi-melters. And in the other patrol we have one unit of attack bikes with multi-melters. And then the ATVs takes up the other slot. Then in the elite position, we have five blade guard. We have an apothecary. The apothecary has the selfless healer. He's a chief apothecary, so he can then heal, bring stuff back to life. He can't do that on the ATVs anymore because it's been FAQ'd, but they can still get the six up, feel no pain, and he can still heal them. Then we then have the centurions. These just have the flamers and obviously the siege drills. And then heavy support, we have for eradicators and in dedicated transports we have an impulsor and it has the five up invon so that is two thousand points on the button um anything else i need to add no i don't think so i mean obviously i've got a lot of melters in here so with all of the extra stuff i've spent i'm down to seven cp so i think i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16 melters, which will be about 32 melt shots. So hopefully Tom enjoys that. And we'll be back for the chaos. Hey guys, Tom here. Um, so today I, I asked Pat to, to bring something strong, so I want to try something out up in testing. Um, I've got some tournaments coming up, hopefully in the next few months. So I've got 1,000 Suns Battalion to start out with. And I've got four troop choices. So the first one is a 10 man rubric squad. Um, they're just all with bowlers. Um, the Soul Reaper's not in the squad. I didn't pay the points for it. The second squad is a five man um, Soul Reaper. Sorry, five man bolt squad with a sorcerer. And the third squad is all Warp Flamers. So I've got four Warp Flamers and a Warp Flamer on the sergeant, Warp Flamer pistol. And then I have taken 17 Dangors, so I thought I'd uh, bring them back out again. And uh, I paid for the Brayhorn in that unit as well. So plus one to advance and charge. And then in the HQ choices, I've got three HQs. So I've taken Araman, 
and then I've taken an exalted sorcerer on the disc and then I've also I've taken uh, I've got a terminal sorcerer but I've left him at home so I'm just using a normal sorcerer with a familiar and I am the cult of magic with this attachment so I've paid a CP for the dark matter crystal for the relic and I've paid a CP for the extra warlord trait and I've taken the cult of magic warlord trait on the terminal sorcerer for plus one damage on mortal uh, sorry plus one mortal wound to, to powers and then I've got super heavy auxiliary Magnus himself um, I'll run through the powers in the game because so I've got a lot on here but he doesn't get any benefits for super heavy auxiliary so unfortunately no pluses to his range of his powers um, and then we've got his brother Mork so this is not a fluffy game I, I asked Pat to bring the strongest he's got so uh, I've got Morty plugged in there as well and a, and a rhino for transport in the battalion um, with Mortar and he has to be the warlord I do lose the minus one toughness from the contagion um, because obviously I'm not pure death guard it's only one detachment but I do still get all his warlord traits and the contagion from his warlord trait as well so but then it does open access things like warp time on him you can still do you can still put diabolic strength on him so all of a sudden he, he could be really really nasty warp time in someone's face in the right gap turn one so yeah so I thought I'd try it today um, I'm against a, something, a lot of malware so wish me luck Okay, so we've rolled off for the mission. We got Surround and Destroy. So it's the long deployments down a long board edge. Um, there are six objectives, so it's quite um, it's quite a lot of object objectives to go for. I believe it's Take and Hold. I'm gonna check that quickly. It is Take and Hold, so it's gonna be a good, uh, a good score in one um, for the primary. It should be fairly easy for both of us to score good primary on this. So secondaries wise, I went for Abhor the Witch because it's Fathers and Sons, I can get, you know, I can, as long as I kill a couple of characters and Having his units. got nothing that isn't a psycho, apart yeah. from the Zangors. Exactly. And, and the, the Rhino. rhino. Yeah. And the Rhino. So yeah. I, should, I should be able to get that. If, I'm, if I don't score very well on that, then I've probably lost the game anyway. Um, then I, I took assassinate because he has five characters i've got to take out mortarian i've got to take yeah. out magnus because if you don't take them out you don't deal with them they're going to rip through your army i mean i could try and tie magnus up which is another option and just try and kill the rest of the army but i'm probably going to spend a lot of resources i'm trying to tie him up and i'm not sure if i'll even be able to deal with the rest of the army so yeah i've gone for assassinate and then lastly i've gone with engage in all fronts because i have got a fairly quick army i can get to places when i need to so i've got that up my sleeve as well um what second is right so i've taken i've taken engage on all fronts as well uh, i've got a surprising amount of mobility with obviously magnus and more uh the sorcerers on discs got the rhino i've got the dark matter crystal so i can teleport around warp the time warp, yeah warp time as well so i can i can be be places um, I've taken psych and, Psychic Ritual uh, because obviously I've got so many Psychers in the units. Uh, in the whole army is pretty much Psyker, so and I'm really going to be pushing for the centre of the board, obviously because I want to be having the board control. Um, so that's and it's an easy 15 points if your opponent can not stop you getting it off because you only got to get it off three times and that's 15 Yeah, well, I'm not going to have to stop you, I've got nothing to deny. You've got a four up to nine. No, I haven't. Haven't you got a four up to nine? No. Okay, well, there you go, it's even better then. So. Uh, so he hasn't got no way of stopping me, so no. it's a nice 15 points there. And the last one I took was uh, Kilmore, so basically, what's it called again? Grind them down. Grind them down, yes. Yeah. I, I still call it Kilmore, but... Yeah. No, no, I think you're, I mean, I'm going to be spending so many resources yeah. to get rid of Magus and Mort that I'm probably not going to be getting that many kills, especially at the beginning. Um, and, you know, it, I think the game's going to come down to whether Tom can, how well I roll on how many shots I get through. Yeah and how, how well he rolls on his in buns. I'll, I'll be honest, I've got to be really careful with my placement of them because he's got so many melters, so I don't want to just give them away. And so I don't want, but I feel I could kill more if I play well. And you definitely, use, I definitely use the think, terrain to my advantage. You should stuff, definitely be killing more, I, I, yeah. I, I think that. So what we're going to do is we're going to deploy, come back, yep. and then um, we'll roll off to see who's going to go first. Wish me luck, the Dark Gods. Okay, deployment. So, Tom won the roll off. So, over here, um, he has deployed Magnus, Mortarium. Uh, so, I've got some so, rubrics. Yeah, so, I've got Aram in here, Exalted Sorcerer with the Dark Matter Crystal there. And some Zangles. Six, and the uh, 
blue chickens are there. I've got a rhino over here with a five man with a flamer squad. And I've paid one CP to infiltrate them with the Ryzen Rubric Stratagem, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, basically, you can do it with a 20 man squad. I've done it before to Pat, but 10 man squad. I can't call them back because I'm not cult of duplicity. Uh, duplicity yeah. So I can't bring them back. Okay, so I have paid a CP to put my eradicators into deep strike. Then over here, I've deployed three attack bikes, five infiltrators. I've got the three ATVs, captain on bike, the impulsor with the apothecary and five blade guards. I have the chaplain, I have the three centurions, some more infiltrators, and then six more attack bikes over here. So we're going to go into the roll off to see who goes first. What would you like, Tom? Would you like first turn? <sighs> I probably would because the amount of belt you've got and, and also and the speed you've got deployed. Well, there was a reason for that because I want the speed block, you know, slow yeah, you down yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I've infiltrated them on a gamble. Yeah, there's no, there's no question of it. Right. See so who goes first. Oh, Ooh, five oh. and five. Come on, dark gods. The five and a two. two. I will take first turn. Tom is going to go first, so we'll be back with chaos turn one. Now, seven CP. So I'm going to try and take control as much of the board and pressurise Pat into the corner as much as possible because I want to get into the middle of the board and be scoring some psychic rituals, so that's the plan. Right, so the end of my movement phase. So I got first turn, so I thought the gamble with infiltrating the rubrics did pay off. Um, so what I've done is I've moved Magnus over to the, sorry, moved Magnus over to the right here. Uh, and the intention is oh, I want to go after the melters, but I don't want to put myself in too much jeopardy going to the left of the board where the assault sense and the blade guards are. So playing it safe, Mortarians move there. Um, the exalted sorcerer with the dark matter crystals behind him and Araman, so they're both from three, so Morty is screening for them, and they're within nine of, sorry, Araman is within nine of Magnus to get reroll once in the psychic phase. These squad of rubrics are just camped on this objective, and at the end of the phase I use Dark Matter Crystal to slingshot the um, Zangors up into the middle. Uh, there's no room on the left and right because he had Phobos units, so I couldn't get within 12 of them, but there's a nice gap in the middle, and uh, so I thought I'd go for that. And uh, the, the uh, Rubric Marines, the 10 man squad on the left hasn't moved because I want to double shoot them. And you can for, I think it's one CP, I'll have to check, but it's pretty good strat. I think it's one CP and then two CP for more, isn't it? No, I think it's just one CP oh, all the time. But I think, yeah, Lovely. we'll have a look in a minute. I haven't used it for a while. And then I've got uh, Rhino here. It's still got the Rubrics inside it. Just come out to the left to get me uh, recon. Lovely. Cool. Okay, we'll go into the psychic phase. Okay, psychic phase, what are you, who are you starting with? Right, okay, so the way psychic phase works now, you have to go through and complete all the powers on someone. You can't bounce yep. back and forth. So we're gonna start with Aramon. Yep. So we're gonna stick Glamorous each onto Magnus, which is on a seven, plus one, re on ones, because Magnus is nearby, so I need a six. Uh, so, it does go off, because I'm plus, no, it doesn't go off, I've got to re-roll the one. Okay. Sorry, it doesn't go off. Because I need a seven, natural seven. Right, okay. Right, sorry. Confused myself there. So he's going to do Weavers of Fate onto Magnus. Need a five. That doesn't go off. I'm going to have to CP that. Okay. Can't have that found. It's a burn and CP straight away. That does go off. So it's yeah. Magnus' free up in bomb. So he just hasn't got the minus one to hit? No. But I need that free up in bomb for that melter. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So uh, onto. <coughs> So I think that's done with Aaron. Aaron, yeah. So I've got Infernal Gate. Uh, so Infernal Gate is 24 inch range, but I don't think there's anybody he can see within 24. I could have a pop shot at them. Four boss in there, actually. Yeah, I can see them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, on a five. Does go off. So it's roll three dice on a four plus with some mortal wound. No mortals. Okay. That's him done. So I'm gonna go over to Magnus himself now. Bear me one second. Magnus. Max the red. So we're what just going to go straight for a warp time. Warp time? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. 
hang on a sec, actually, no, I'm just gonna, because, just let me check the range on that. So, Magnus is gonna do an infernal gateway on yep. the Fogos unit. It's only 12 inches Intense. because I don't get the plus to the range because yep. of the detachment, so uh, I'm looking for big numbers here. So it's a five and a one, so it still goes off, but I'm gonna re-roll the one. Okay. Which is another one. Okay. So it's gonna be D3 on that Phobos unit, and yep. D3 on the bikes. For three on the Phobos. Yep. And for two on the bikes. Two on the bikes, okay. Yep, so next thing he's gonna do, he's gonna do is a, he's gonna do walk time on himself. Goes off. Okay. So he's moving again. Basically all we're gonna do is just move him up. So I'm closest to them attack bikes. So my smite will hit them. Mm. Get there like that. Yeah. So I'm outside an inch, but I would say I can get closer to the attack bikes. No outside. problem. Uh, so his third power is gonna obviously smite. Yeah. That's an eight, so it's only gonna be D, well it's only, still D6 mortals. For two, so kills a bike. Yeah. He's done. Uh, so, I'm not going to do anything with this guy here because he's out of range to do anything. Yeah, I could probably chuck a smite. I don't think I can see no, that. This is obscuring, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah so I can't. So, so, over here, yep. they're going to do Astral Blast and it's 15 inch range and it's the closest visible model. Which would be the Impulsor. Yeah, so I'm going to go for that. So, it does go off on a five because it is a five to get it off. I will wow, just check that's it again. nice and uh, it might be a six, easy so. to get off. Bear me one second. It's one of the ones I don't, it's one of the cult ones, so. Everyone's screaming, it's a five or it it's a are. six. It's a six. Okay. There you go. Doesn't go so off. It doesn't go off. Lovely. Right, so is that the end of the psychic phase? No, Mortarian. Oh, Morty. So, my asthma on him. Yeah, let's not get that off. Yeah, it goes off on an eight. Okay. And then what have we got? Uh, it's out of range for everything else. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll chuck a smite out from him. Just onto the. Yeah. And tease boys? No, will I, will I? Yeah, I'll go on then, smite. Goes off, yep. Yeah. Uh, D3. For free. Cool. Because that's the second smite that I've done. It went off on a six. Yep. Yeah. Because maybe it's the first one. No problem. And then I will, I've done my eyes on him, done that. So you can yeah. only do two. And I'm going to do another psychic power. I have to spend a CP to do it. Hmm. No, no, I'll leave it, no. Okay, we'll be back with the shooting phase. Okay, these guys shooting into the Impulsor. Tom's played a CP to double shoot. So um, one of them is at minus one, so he's doing 32 shots. Yep, and I'm using Spets and CP yeah, on Vets as well. Yeah, Spets and CP on Veterans all along there. So 32 shots, hitting on threes. No rerolls. No, so I'll take out the misses. That weren't a bad. That's pretty good. Mm. That's two there. And fours. Yeah, time yeah, seven, fours. yeah. Yeah. That was not bad either. It's about average, I'd say. Not enough to kill it. Nowhere near. Two, four, six, eight, nine, mate. Six, nine. Well, we have a four up. So this is minus two? Mate, he's minus two. So mate, five yeah. up saves. Well, that's pretty good. I've saved four, so five wounds. Three more hits. Yep. Uh, looks like two more, two wounds. more wounds. So five so far, six, seven. Nice. So it's got what, three more points? More it slows it down, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so this is the end of the shooting phase because Mortara's not in range, his lantern's now been cut to 12 inches. Good. So we're on to the, the fun phase, my favourite. Okay, fight. we'll be back with the charge phase. Okay, Magnus makes it in over here into both the infiltrators and yep. the attack bikes. So the big one, so his angles are going to go for the bikes. Um, um, T4. Plus, um, yeah, T4, and plus one to charge with the Bray Horn. Yeah, I'm going I'm to work what? I thought you might. Okay, the ATVs are going to shoot the Zangors. So, sixes. We have two. And then we need fours. We have one. Five up in bond on Zangor. Fine. Saves. Okay, then six melt shots. Nothing. Okay. Waste for CP. 
Let's do it. Let's, he, he needs an eight because of the plus one. It's a four. Oh, suspense. Looks like it's got a lot of numbers on. No, no it hasn't. Reroll that. Okay. Down CP reroll. CP. Easy. Easy. Well worth the CP. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back once. Okay, Zangors are in. Magnus is in. Who are you fighting with first? Uh, Zangors, because I'm not worried about them interrupting on me. Okay. So I'm going a bit crazy here, so I'm going to use Vets. Yep. So I managed to get nine in, because I was quite far away. Mm -hmm. uh, the Brave one's in there, so I've got 19 attacks. Hitting on freeze with Vets wounded on fours. Okay. So, unfortunately, we've got no re-rolls nearby. So, winning on fours. Yep, not too good so far. Uh, that is only five, a minus one though. Five, minus one. So, four up saves. Uh, only one saved, so four go through. Yep, so can you heal then? No, yep. You can heal them. I yeah? can heal them, I can't bring them back to life. Right, we're going to go full crazy. We're going to go burn 2CP to fight again with him at the end of the phase, though. So we're going to okay. go to Magnus. We're going to go over here, I'm not interrupting. Yeah. Uh, how are you spitting your attacks with Magnus? I will put five on the... How many? Two. Well, I'll just put two on them. Uh, uh, actually, I'll put three on them and five on the bikes. Uh, so three on them, five on the bikes, yeah. Okay, I'm going to pay um, one CP to transhuman the... Um, yeah. Trades, yeah. Three hits. Yeah. Two dead. Shit. Transhuman power uh, flies. Yeah. It comes in clutch sometimes, but you got no save yet because minus four flat three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're dead. The bikes. All hit. Yep. Strength sixteen. Uh, so they're dead. Yep. It's three damage a pop. Yeah, yeah, no worries. They just consolidate. All I'm going to do is consolidate them up onto that objective. Yeah, I was just hoping that I'd have right. one. Left alive, infiltrate it, 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 left yeah, alive. Yeah. No, I agree. No, it's, uh, okay, it so was worth a gamble. Uh, we'll come back to it because I'm just going to measure up how many angles I can get in before I commit to yeah, fight. Yeah, because you twice. get to pile in again. Yeah, I'm just going yeah, to. Okay. No. I've decided to fight again with the angles. <gasps> um, I know. It's piled in again. I piled in because I get my pile in again, and then when I activate again. He's I, used all of his CP, he's got zero CP left. Let's go for it. I know I'm not expecting to kill him, but if I can drop one or two. Yeah, yeah. Um, Be big. Veterans of the Long War still in effect. So he's yep. on threes. That's pretty good. Uh, looks like two there. That's nice. Yep. And I need fours. You do so. Wound. So that is. Uh, take the misses out. It's not bad. No, that's all right. If I can kill one, that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hang on, let's count that again. Five. Yeah, ten, yeah. Five. Ten at minus one. Five. Okay. Explode. Four ups. So that is one dead and one down to two wounds. One down, two wounds. So one's on six. Cool. Okay. I just. Want to get as much metal off the board as possible. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, uh, attacks back. Can we get okay. back? Oh, okay, so the ATVs have four uh, attacks each, one extra because of shock assault. So, hitting on threes, don't get any reroll ones because they are not core, which hurt me. And then this will be fours. So, four. Oh, not bad. Leaning, out, leaning out of there, headbutting them. Yeah. Look at that. Not a single one. Nice. Cool. Okay. Chickens for the win. Yeah. Um, well, that is the end of the phase. I don't need to do any morale, nor do you. So I score, score wise. Um, I just get two points for. Engage. Engage, yeah. Yep. That psychic which I haven't done this turn. Yep. Holding off on that. So we'll be back with White Scars turn one. Okay, command phase. So um, I've got to try and uh, do some damage somewhere. Um, so I'm hoping to take out these angles. I'm going to try and take out the Rubik Marines. Um, I've got up to five CP. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I've got to try and do some damage somewhere and, and stop him scoring points. Um, my 
Chaplin is going to do the master, uh, he's going to do the mantra of strength, which doesn't go off, and then the canticle of hate for the plus two to charge does go off. So, yeah, then we'll come back. Okay, movement. The blade guard got out and advanced up. The apothecary got out, healed these guys at the end of the movement phase. These guys advanced up. Um, these guys just shuffled. Um, Chaplin moved up to here. Pulse moved up. These lot moved up. Captain jumped over. And obviously everything was dead from over there. So, we're going to go on to some shooting. So first off, we're gonna go with everything from these six attack bikes at the Rhino. You pop smoke, didn't you? Yes. Uh huh. So I'm gonna do um, all the shots at the same time. You might just do the melters. Yes, yeah, 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 that's how many melter shots it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a bolt gun, there's so many shots in his hand. 12, 12, 12 shots. Have I got 12? Yeah. yeah. So, are we... Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours, re rolling ones because of the captain. Yeah. I expect him to die. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. That popping smoke has messed me up. Freeze to wound. Freeze to wound. Oh, my God. Is that only two? Yep. Get no save. Problem with Melter. D6. Eight wounds. No, it's not there. How many have you got there? Two. two. Yeah. Okay, then we'll do the um, bolt of fire. So first one. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't get to use veterans. Uh, Reroll the ones. A few hits. Then five to win. Oof, None. Jesus. And then the next lot. Reroll the ones. Oh. And uh, five's the wound. Four wounds. No AP. No AP. Probably kill him now. There you go. Dead. The blow up. No. Okay. I disembark the. Uh... Yeah. How many are in there? Uh, there's five. Okay. You need to roll for them. Yeah. I See will. if any of them You're die. You're supposed to place them first, I think. Then. You are supposed to place them first. You're right. Yeah, you can actually. place them all. Oh, it doesn't matter. Five. One dies. Lovely. Gonna take one walk flamer. Yep. Cool. Okay. We'll be back with... Almost unto you. Okay, oh, Centurions into the Zangors Flamers. So it's 2d6 each Centurion. Let's see how many we get. So it's 18, 20, 27. Yep. No, 26. Okay, 26, I'll come back to that. Okay, 26 shots. Um, obviously auto-hitting. So force the wound. Oh, it's not good. No, that was pretty poor, wasn't it? Look at the amount of ones and twos. Okay, so we've got four, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, five ups. And that was a decent roll for me. Uh, so four saves. So yeah, so I lose seven. Seven. Yeah, cool. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, everything from the ATVs into the Zangles. So this is the bolt shots. No rerolls. It's much better. And then four to wound. Yeah. That's good roll. Oh, very good roll. So that is seven. Okay, seven dice. Uh, so I lose four, six more. Okay. Cool. And then four melt shots. Because you know, you bring melt to kill his angles. Uh, two more. That's exactly where I want it to be shooting. Uh, so if one survives, so I lose another one. So I lose seven altogether from there. Okay, so we'll be back with what we're going to shoot now. Okay, the infiltrators, three shots into the Zangors. Two hits. One wound. No, dead, number one. One dead. dead. Okay. Um, and then we'll do the chaplain. Uh, or do we charge? No, we'll do the chaplain. 
two hits, one wound. Another one dead, took a one left, I'll leave the one Greyhorn left. on his own. Okay, lovely. Hero. We'll, we'll be That's back. Okay, memory. Captain shooting into the Rupert Marines. Uh, all hit. Will he hit on freeze? It's minus one. Because he can only see them ones there, can't he? Yeah, fair enough. And then fours, two wounds, two ups. Yeah, don't know what I'm worrying for because they're going to be dead from the blade guard, but... Well, you never know. <laughs> okay. Oh, and the... Uh, Has that got a gun? Yeah, combi bottle. Two combi bottles. I believe. Cool. I'll just check. Okay, two storm bottles into those guys. And then fours. Uh, just the two. Number one. No. Okay. We'll charges um, the these guys into there. They do get plus two to charge, so they can't foul, so they're in. Um, we'll move them in, in a second, and then do I want to charge him? Do I want to get closer to Magnus and Mortarion? Not really. Um, unless I'm just doing it to block off. Some space. Nah. We'll leave it. We'll make him warp time. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's move him in and start. Okay, blade guards into Rubik Rings. So I've got 21 attacks. Yep, 21 attacks, yep. Good roll, good hit roll. It's not bad, it's not bad. So I haven't got any re-rolls because the captain was just out and I couldn't keep him in. I would have lost four attacks otherwise. I didn't think it was worth it. And then... Freeze again. Freeze again. When I can pick up all the dice. Tomorrow. Okay, threes. Not so good. I, I... Not so good at all. Okay, three, six, nine. I said he, I reckon he killed six. So I got five of him, Von, because it's not damage one. So, there he goes, killed seven then. That was one out. There you go. Cool. Seven dead. Seven dead. Um, hang on, just gonna check where I take these from. Because I'm objective secured on there. And I could pass leadership, because I think I'm leadership nine. Okay. I know, I'd already lost one from the squad as well, so I'll only have two left. Yeah. Hmm. I could pull and not pile in, couldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. So I just stay there. Okay. <clears throat> so not not attacking back? No, I won't do that because I can kill the sorcerer from the squad. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So uh, this Sangor's gone because of morale. Yeah, yeah. So he goes. Um, the Zangor, the root, sorry, the Rubik rings at the back don't need to take morale, do they? No, they're fine. Um, yeah, he's only doing. lost one. These have lost seven, eight. Yeah. So they're gonna fail. Yeah. So you lose one and then roll one dice on a one or a two. He, no, just one dice. Okay, on a one, one, one or two, two he goes. No, it's fine. No. So one brave, dusty void. Good. They should be... I'll obviously, um, I would have uh, consolidated. Yeah, that's fine. We'll talk that off in a minute. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Um, and I think that is it for... Good turn. Yeah. What'd you score? So, I got, you don't get grind, because no, I killed two, two units. you killed two, and I yeah. two, yeah. Um, and I don't really score anything, I don't get engaged. Um, oh, I do get, no I don't, because I haven't killed a um, psycho unit yet. No. So, and assassinate, I haven't killed no characters. So, we'll be back with Chaos, what, Thousand Sons basically, with with Magnus's brother. Um, turn two, okay, command phase. Turn two, right. you're up to one CP. Yeah, so I gave my one CP back after blowing seven in turn one. Um, be honest, my plan's going as I planned out in my head. I want to throw away as much disposable units and protect my Primarchs as much as possible. And it's worked so far, so they can come into play this turn. Um, I scored well on that, I scored 15. So on the primary, because I hold all the objectives now, I've just got to try and keep Pat pinned in that corner and score on the primaries and try and get uh, Psychic Ritual, get that going off, so wish me luck. Oh.
Uh, okay, movement phase. Araman, the sorcerer on disc, and Mortarion have moved up to the center here, near the center. Yep. These have stayed back, hold capping that objective. Magnus has moved up here. The lone Rupert Marine has just moved further into the woods. These four have moved up with their flamers. And then the uh, Sorcerer and Terminator armor has dropped in over here. Yeah. So I've dropped him down here. Yep. So they are, sorry, my attention is they're the closest. So I could have come this way a bit, but yep. I want no to be able to attack yep. so. no worries. Okay, so do you want to go straight into Psychic? Yeah, let's do some Psychic. So we first thing we're going to do, so I've got one CP, so I'm going to do Miasma of Pestilence on Morty. Yeah. Minus one to hit. Uh, doesn't go off. No okay. biggie. I'm not re-rolling that. No. Uh, he's going to do uh, minus, no, he's going to do a Smite, and that will be, I think, the closest unit is the, Impulsor? is the tank, the Impulsor. Yeah. We're, we're casting to see what it is. Yeah. So it goes off on a seven. Yep. So it's going to be D3 on something. It's going to be two. Okay. We'll check in a second. Yeah. Uh, I'll just check put now, two. Actually. I'll check. All right. You, you hold on a sec. So that's 12. Yes. I would say that they're slightly closer. Okay. Yeah. Two on them. Yeah, two on them. Cool. Okay, so Araman. Over to Araman now. So he's going to do Weavers of Fate onto Magnus. Mm -hmm. 24 inch range, I've got loads of room. Yeah. And it goes off plus one. Yeah. So he's going to do Glamorous each onto Magnus. I need a six, because I'm plus one. Uh, doesn't it doesn't go off. go off. Okay. Then he's going to smite. Uh, which is going to hit, I think, the blade guard. We'll try it and see what happens. So that's a seven, plus one, eight. Fifteen. Yeah, the blade guard, yeah. The D3 on the blade guard. For one such kick, one blade guard dead. Yeah. Well, no, no. Yeah. He's going to do Psychic Ritual. Uh, is he within six of the centre? I don't think he is, mate. Oh, he's six of the centre, is that? I'm I would have come sure. the other side if I knew I'd have advanced him. Okay, move him over. Yeah, yeah do you mind? So I'll, yeah. I'll do the advance. So six anyway. Yeah. So basically. I've he's got to be like that. the other side of more. Well, he was... That's the centre there, isn't it? Six of the centre there. You get four inches, yeah, get four inches closer from that thing. There? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll sort it out in a second. Yeah. yeah, no worries. That's fine. Let's so, see if we can get it off first. Yeah. need a three. Goes off. Cool. A bit uh, of perils for me. <laughs> so that's that done. They can't do anything. So over to Magnus himself now. Yeah. Or what about that guy over in the corner? I'm going to do him last. You're going to do this guy. Yeah, because it's important to get warp time off over here. Okay. So I've got the three up in Von off. Mm -hmm. There's no minus one here, no minus one here. Um, because I'm out of range, I'm outside of 12, so I can't do Infernal Gateway. Okay. I can, but I won't hit nothing. It goes off, warp time. Yeah. So he's going to move again. Yeah. And I'm just going to go here, but stay outside of three. Yeah. Because I don't fancy Infernal Gateway on myself. Yeah. Because it does hit yourself. Cool. Uh, so, next power for him, Infernal Gateway. What big numbers here. Reroll the ones. So it's an eight plus two, 10. So it's going to be D3. For three, oh, sorry, on the, should have said, on the Centurions first. Yeah. And then on the bikes for two. Cool. Uh, there's nothing else within, because it hits the closest model and then any model within three of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like no. Astral Blast. He's going to smite. Or oh, I might do Doom Bolt, because he's got Doom Bolt as well. Hmm, let me think. No, smite. Okay. On to Centurions. Yeah, but I killed it. They haven't got an inv on them, Centurions, have you? No. And you can't use Transhuman on them, can you? No. No, I smite. So, re-rolling ones. So it goes off on a nine. Yeah. It's going to be D6 mortals for four. So it's just a dead cent. Cool. Uh, one there. He's done. So over here. Yep. So we'll do a, just do um, smite from them. Okay. Need a seven or an eight. Actually, now both Donneris Perils over there. Okay. Astral Blast onto them. Need a six. So plus one for the familiar. Goes off an 11. Yep. So that's going to be D3 plus one mm -hmm. and two mortals on them. Okay. So D3 plus one on the bikes. So four. So there's one dead bike. Yep. And just two on the other bike unit. Cool. Now, are, is that guy over three of them? I don't think so, but... Could well be. Just outside. Yeah. Oh, it's literally millimetres. Um, let's see, I will check from that. 
Pike there though. No, he's out. Okay, he's going to smite. Okay. It uh, doesn't go off. Nice. Okay, we're uh, done. I might do a CP, do one more, I'm just thinking. Okay. Okay, warp flamers into the blade guard. Yep, so I've got three and a warp flame pistol on the sergeant, which is the blue dice. Yeah. This many shots. I'm not doing bets, obviously. Uh, so that's uh, 18, is it? Maths, maths off today. Are they the same 12. profile? Oh no, they're strength three. Right. So, that'd be eight, sorry. Yeah. Eight. Strength four. Your T5 are you? No, T4. Oh, they're not. Okay. That is five at minus two. And I'd roll the other six up. Okay, five at minus two. Two go through. There's two more. So these are wound on fives, these ones, because it's strength three. Okay, still minus two? Yeah, it's minus two though. Okay, one more, one dead. Cool. Uh, Any more shooting? Nah, more Tyrant's pistols out of range. Okay. Let's just go for the charge. Okay. I've got, they're out of range over there. Yeah. He's out of range, so yeah, let's do some charges, so. It's a bit suicide to charge there, so I'll have, I'll, Mag is gonna charge in over there anyway. Uh, okay. Everything. Let me. Want to say everything? Just the these two. The units. two, yeah, two units. Let me. Have Magnus is going to charge in here. You need like a four or something. Yeah. So I kept my CP because they happen. It's an eight. Chuck him up there. Uh, He's in. I'm just thinking about the rubrics. No, if you can charge me on the Overwatch, yes. So <laughs> if you want to come get me, I'll cool. cook you. So um, that's the end of my. Charge phase, I've got no others. So Magnus is just gonna go and, should we go straight into the fight? Or? Yeah, let's go in. Okay. Um, how am I splitting these? How are you splitting it? You can't transhuman anywhere, can you? Yeah, I can transhuman these. Oh, can you? Yeah. Mm. I'll go all into the, all into the Centurions. Everything's going into Centurions, nothing into these. Well, you've got, no, you've got a two up save, haven't you? Yeah, so I'll get a six Minus up. Minus four. So I'll get a six up save. And you took any damage on any of them? Yeah, I've got one wound on one and and oh, yeah. none of them are wounded on them other ones, are they? Yes, yeah, taken two wounds. Four and four. Okay, so I'll spend a CP to do transhuman on the ATVs. Yep. So who are you going on first? ATVs. Okay. We roll the ones. Two wounds. Mine, uh, so they don't get saved. Don't get saved, so is that Just one dead. dead? Yeah, flat three. If it took two damage already. Yep. Yeah, dead. Oh, hang on, I'll get six up to my planes. Oh, check you out. Didn't use them last Popper time. No, because the pop gear wasn't out. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't save you. I'm going to CP re-roll it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I saw oh. the six as well. It was a worthwhile game because you can heal him up, can't you? Yeah, because otherwise, you know, I can't bring him back, but I could have healed him up. Let's mess some centurions up. Okay. Yeah, so Death the False Emperor there. I didn't think he re-rolled once for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not core, is he? You're f no, you're, I didn't think he re-rolled once for himself. I thought yeah. he was only with the Psychic. No, I had re roll once hit oh, for all right. thousand suns units nice. as well, yeah. Uh, that's four wounds at minus four. Four wounds, so I need some six ups. I need a lot of six ups. I got two six ups. Nice, keeps one alive. So that's one dead. And one down to one wound, yeah? Yeah. But you're six up from the pocket for, ain't you? Yeah. So three. What's the range on that? Well, I won't bother with the first one because I'm not going to roll three sixes. Yeah, okay. Because I only need to fire one and he's dead anyway. Yeah. So second one. There'll still be six. You need to roll six dice. No. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, the first one, yeah. Yeah, because I let the first one go. So it takes two. So it's down to two wins remaining. Okay. So one's dead. And yeah. One. Yeah, cool. And I'll fight back, I suppose. Yeah. See what you got. Um, maybe five attacks. Okay, Centurions, five attacks. Oh. Damage. Uh, strength, strength ten. 10. Yeah. So, uh, one. Loves it. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh dear. You want the pink flip a few off him, really? It's not good, is it? No, not Vincent and the board on full health. Hmm. 
So we'll be back with you haven't got any morale. I haven't got no, any so morale. I scored two, four. Because I was just going to consolidate that way. Yeah. So that would get me two on that. I don't actually kill any units. I've killed stuff off of units, but I haven't. So you get two points for engage. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And I don't get that because I have you to three must have. Have you not killed a unit? No, because I've killed two centurions. Killed an attack yeah, right. You killed some blade guard. You killed some. Yes, yeah, so I've yeah. picked stuff off of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you down, but I haven't. Okay, we'll be back. Got quite tough in these. We'll be back. Okay, so command phase. I'm up to three CP. Let's see if we can get mantra strength off on the chaplain. Yes, and then we'll do the litany of hate. So rerolls. Yes. Nice. Okay, so we're going to be rerolling hits, and we're going to be um, buffed up. Okay, so Centurions fell back, paid a CP so they could fall back and shoot. Apothecary healed the Centurion and brought another one back to life. One wound left he had. Mm. These, this is just moved back, but stayed within 12. These two have jumped over. We're going to have a good go at trying to get rid of Magnus. It's, I think it's like our only sort of play. If, if, if we can't get rid of Magnus, and he's got a free up in and we're probably not going to get rid of him. But... I don't know what else I can do. Blade Guard have just moved up. We're going to take off this Rubik Marine. I'm hoping to shoot these off along with that um, guy over there. Then the... Oh, he's going to move back to sort of around here so he can get some shooting on Magnus. And then the Eradicators have dropped in over here. We're going to try and take these off the objective. Um, just thinking, you know, let's stop him, stop him scoring primary. Um and try and leave him with just basically Mortarian and, and two, two sorcerers, sorcerers. Um, which are still brutal, but at least then I might be able to just start going off in different directions and making it so Morty hasn't got loads of stuff that he can just tear through. So we'll come back with some... Okay, we're starting with the Infiltrators into Mag. It's not very good on the hits. And then wound in on fives and sixes. No wounds. Okay, we might as well go straight in with the um, ATV. Same target. <clears throat> fives and sixes to wound. Two wounds. Come on. It takes one. Starts off. Okay, and the melt. The melter. Um, one hit. One wound. Fine. Saves it. Okay, then we'll do the flamers for 12, oh, nice. uh, 18. 18. So we'll be back with okay, some. So only fives and sixes to wound. We have two. one, two, three, four. Not single one, well, one. Another wound. Down to 16. Okay. Then we'll go with the Storm Bolter off of the Impulsor. Is that not degraded? Uh, yes, it will be, so it'll be hitting on fours. Yeah, fours, yeah. Fires and sixes to wounds. Nice. Three wounds. Uh, takes another one down to 15. Okay. Then the Capitan. Uh, doesn't re roll for himself anymore. Nope. nope. Chaplin. One. Fine. Okay. Oh, and the Apothecary will come back with his shooting in a second. Okay, these three are going to shoot their pistols into... Actually, they're going to shoot their pistols into them. Makes sense. Uh, so, hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. fours. No. Nothing. Okay, we'll come back with some more. Damage okay. Damage two, yeah. Both damage two. Okay. Um, so the apothecary pistols. One hit. One hit. One wound. Damage two. Fine. 
Okay, this free up Invon is not going well for me. So we'll go over to here. We'll do um, the two attack bikes, melters into the uh, character, and then we'll do the guns into these guys, yep. the bolt guns. Yep. So melters, two hits. Two wounds. He's got five up in Von, he's terminated sorcerer, tanks it. Wow. And then the guns into the flamers. Fours. Oh, minus one, so it's three, minus one. Okay, so they are, they are minus one now, yeah? Yeah, because of tactical. Right, so I'll reduce it by one, so back to three up. Yeah. Is that only was it three? Yeah. Don't want to lose any of these yet. No, three, love it. Okay, so I'm going to do two attack bike melters into the um character yeah and one into these and then all of this and then um all of the rapid fire pistols or the bolters i'll do two into these and one into the other so basically opposite okay so four melter shots into the character uh three hits three hits and then win on twos can he live who knows Oh, it only takes one. So that's... Hang on a sec. It's D6 nah. plus two. Hang on, I've got CP. No, I can't. Go on, roll it. D6 plus two. Five. Dead. Okay. I needed to keep the CP for Magnus over there. Oh, yeah. And then... The... Into the other guys. One. No. Right. And then... Two of the... Bolt guns. Fours, two, three ups. Lose one. one. Cool. Okay. Shooting face down, is that? No, oh, hang on. No, I've got the eradicators. We'll be coming back with you. Okay, the eradicators into these guys over here. Hitting on threes. And then wounding on twos. And these guys were it, weren't they? That is five. Enough to kill him? That is six. Five up in bonds. Oh my god. What is that, baby? Oh, I only killed two. Have some of that. Okay. So we'll be back with the. Okay, Blade Guard going into this guy here. They're in. Yeah. Cool. Oh. And then over here. We are going in with the Capitan. He's in. I've only rolled one dice because that's all he needed. <laughs> um, the Centurions are in. Just. With a double one. And then the Chaplain. Yeah, nobody rolling, right. just shove them in. Yeah. Let's see what um, you got. I just want to make sure. The Eradicators want to charge over here? Yes, the Eradicators do want to charge over there. Let's see what they got. Let's have some fun with the Eradicators, see if we can kill some people. So we need a nine. No. no. Is it worth a CP? What by stopping you? I am stopping you and scoring points. I guess, well, I'm objective secured. And I'm yeah, like only if I kill you. You might want to up savings, you've got no AP. That is you true. You ain't killing me. That is true. No, we'll leave it. It's not worth just, a being CP. Not, just being honest with you. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, and I'm the sorcerer will probably kill these two of them. Yeah. Okay. They'll probably kill two of them. So, we'll be back with some fun. Okay, so my captain's going in first. He has plus one to hit and plus one to wound against characters. So, um, oh, actually, do I want to do him first? Should we go with the chaplain first? Doesn't make a difference, really. Yeah, we're going to go with the chaplain first. Funny. So that will be five attacks. See what he's got. Okay, so we're going with the chaplain. All hit. Uh, oh, re-roll because of uh, litany of hate and then we are wounding on fours because he's um, strength, strength seven, seven yeah. because of mattress so that's two wounds damage uh two i'll take it down to okay. oh no damage three sorry damage three. Oh, is it damage three is that yeah I'll still take it. Because the Centurions are damage free as well, aren't they? Yeah. So, Everyone's damage free. Yeah, so no matter what I re roll, I'm to save it for. Okay, captains. The captain, sorry. All here. Wounding on twos because of 
Um, Hunt's Instinct. Jesus. That is six wounds. That's abysmal. So that'd be nine. Is re rolling one? No. No? That's a it doesn't matter because if I re roll a Centurion, you could. If you fluff them all now, I could live on three wounds. I doubt it, but. Because he's the last guy to fight with, isn't he? The last two people to fight with. Yeah, these are, yeah. Yeah, so I might as well just. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, so hitting on threes, wounding on threes, no re rolls. Wounding on threes. It's going to be big. So it's four wounds. Three up in runs. So no matter what. No matter so that's what. why I didn't glad and spend that same Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Damage three, he's dead. No, you're definitely right. I didn't right. kill him. Nicely done. Does he explode? No. Okay, lovely. That is massive. I needed that. If I hadn't killed him, I would have been um, in a lot, a lot of bother. Where I made a mistake there, to sound camera, I didn't realise the Centurions can be brought back to life. Otherwise, I'd have put six attacks. Yeah, you were probably learn. thinking in your head that it was core. Cool. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. it was core. Cool. So obviously, because it's still no addition. Obviously yeah, gonna infantry rust, and bikes. But I would make that mistake again. But okay, so we're gonna consolidate. Um, do you get what do you do score? You, do you get grind? No, because I, I know because you didn't kill. So I got um, assassinate, abhor. And you score how many for your? Oh, no, you don't see that. Sorry. No, so I didn't get anything for um, primary, did I? No. Because oh no, I did. I got five for yeah. primary because I was on one at the beginning of the turn. Cool. So we'll be back with chaos turn three. Right, turn three. Uh, took a bit of a hammer and losing Magnus that turn. Silly mistake, not killing them Centurions. Um, that's what. Brought it back for him, so I've really struggled. I'm going to struggle here, but I'm going to have to throw Mortarion in now. And I have got full health Mortarion, two sorcerers to power him up, some rubrics scattered around, so I could still score quite well this turn. So fingers crossed, wish me luck. You got two CP two and CP. you scored 10 on primary, yes. Yeah, so. okay. Right. Okay, Mortarion has moved up to here. He's he's taken Magnus's place. He wants revenge for his brother's loss. Araman has moved up to deal with his blade guard. These guys have stayed still. He has stayed still. Uh, yes, he's, he's, he's yeah. going to do well. Psychic ritual. He's just going to tuck in there. So basically, yeah. he's got a bit of protection. And then these guys are staying still also. So do some psychic. Right, psychic. Okay. Psychic, let's go. So first things first, I'm going to do Astral Blast from these. Obviously yep. everyone knows it. Yep. 15 inch range. It's going to go on them. Yep, on six. Goes off on a seven. Lovely. This is going to be D3. Okay. For three. Big three. Kills one. Yeah, that's handy because the smite's only damage one. Yeah. So Yeah, yeah, makes, yeah, it, makes sense. it much better. Let's do um, Psychic Ritual from him. Yeah. Or oh, need a three. Oh, I get it. Just because it's a three to get it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. It's a big boy Araman. Good to do three up in Von on himself. Okay. Goes off. Lovely. He's gonna do smite. Goes off. Uh, yeah, because that is my first smite. So D3 on the blade guard for two. Okay. Two wounds. His last pass, he's got his three up in Von, he's got that, and he's got warp time. I may warp time him. He hasn't got warp time. You oh no, I didn't pay the CP, did I? Yeah, so I've got Weaver's Glamour, and I can't remember what the third power, power is. Uh, but we'll just do Glamour on himself. Mine's one okay. Goes off, because I'm plus one. Yep. So seven, so it's minus one. Actually, I might stick it on these rubrics. rubrics. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll stick it on them, yeah. No worries. Okay, cool. So he's done, he's done. That rubric squad's going to do Smite. Goes off, it's just going to be one mortal. It's going to be on the blade guard. Yeah. Reason I left them there is because I didn't know how much I killed in the psychic face, so I didn't know who to shoot with the flamers. So, uh, yeah, that's that done. So, Mortarion's going to do my Pestilence on himself. Doesn't I'm going to CP that. You're going to CP it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Goes off, so yeah. down to one CP. Yeah. Can't have him dying. Minus one's big. Yeah, he uh, He's going to do. 
Smite. Okay. Because how many wounds out of repulsive? Four. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. So I need a seven, six or seven. Six, because I've done, just done one. No, it's a fail. No, it's a fail, yeah, because yeah, you've yeah. done one over there as well. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so he's done, he's done, he's done. That's it, shooting phase. We can roll straight into it if you want. Yeah, let's go, shooting phase. Yeah, so I'm going to spend a CP to double shoot these rubrics. Okay. So that'll give me 12 shots. Yep. Yeah, we'll give you 12 actually, yeah. Because they're two shots each and they're double fire. Yeah. What toughness are they though? Five. I can turn a couple of them. Not bad hit roll. Very good hit roll. Need five though. Five to win. One, two. Oh, only two. Two. So five ups. Uh, no, two go through. Got one wound left. His pistol, it's got a pistol, but I think it's out of range. Let me check. It's got to be six, isn't it? No, 12. It's only a oh, normal, yeah. normal yeah, bolt yeah, pistol. I'll yeah. Hits. Wound. Minus two. Dead. Kills one. Nice. Yeah, because even their, their Inferno pistols are still minus two. Yeah, yeah, it's four. nice. So Aaron's got the same. He's going to shoot his pistol. Yep. That's at the blade guards, obviously. Yeah. Four. Minus two. Two through. Yep, so wound on the blade guard. Yep. Over here. So he's going to shoot his warp flame pistol into them. Into who? Into the blade guard? Yeah, into the blade guard, yeah. So, and them two are going to. Yep. Just go into there. So I do the two into them. Yeah. For eight. So fives. Yep. Oh, I need one. One. Is that uh, AP? Yeah, yeah, so one damage. Um, from the yeah, pistol, from the sergeant onto the, the pistol. Them. So I need fives. Check it out. Two, two, minus two. One saves. Yep. So Mortara's going to shoot his lantern. Actually, no, I'm going to shoot his grenades into that, and it'll be fives to wound, won't it? Yeah, we'll go for the grenades. Yep. Seven. Yep. So hitting on twos? Hitting on twos and he re-rolls, so basically he can give himself re-rolls in the uh, yeah, yeah, command yeah, phase, yeah, yeah. but I always put it on him, we talked yeah, about yeah. at the beginning, because yeah. so, there's no other death guard unit. Yeah. So twos, re-roll the ones, all hit, the fives to wound. Rerolling ones, is it? No, it's not a plague weapon, stupidly. That is four though, minus one. Minus one, so four ups. He's alive and one, one wound. wound. Oh, what a nuisance. Lovely. Okay. Uh, Are we shoot. back for some charging? Yeah, charging. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Araman is... Charge a blade Charge a Goes it, that will get me in a three. Yeah, three does get you. Because he flies as well, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not slow by anything. Now, these dudes are going to come up onto that objective. Blade guard? Um, just thinking, do they? Yeah, they will go. Yeah, it's a five. Yep. It's more to try and get that objective and protect Araman. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Morty, I'm going to do Morty first. I haven't got a CP to re-roll this. I need a six into the Centurions. Okay. Let's do it. That'll do it. An eight. Yeah. So he's outside there. And how many shots are they each? Four? Yeah. Don't really pull myself off. Nah. It's nah. fine. Not going to charge. So that's Morty into them and Araman into them. And then that's all done. It's five. Okay. Fight. We'll be back with a fight. Right. So Pat's got two CP left. Now I'm going to hit with Araman first, because first off, he start, his staff is flat free damage. And I'm concerned about them blade guards interrupting and killing Araman. Now I know he'll probably interrupt with the Centurions over there, but I don't think they're going to do enough to really damage Morty, because they'll be hitting on fours with no reroll, the Centurions. Wounded on twos, got four up and a five up from the pain, damage two. I think it's worth not losing Araman for. So let's go with Araman. So five attacks. Nice, so death to the false emperor. Reroll ones. Yep. The strength six. The wound on threes. Yep. Not bad. Four at minus one. So four three ups. Paid off. So I killed them. Yep. They are dead. Would you have interrupted that if I went with Morty first? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to send two CT, so Mortarion into the Centurions. 
Ball hit, no death to the false emperor. Good. Why they took that roll away, I love it. Hitting on twos, you roll the ones. It's obviously the big attack. Um, um, we're not twos. So it's, it's, you get six up saves against it. How many is it? Seven. So you've got seven on his profile. Seven? Seven sixes. Or oh, actually, I only need six sixes. Yeah. Six sixes. Not bad oh, ever. Two. Did you, uh, there's minimum four damage, so. Uh, I would roll. Um, hang on, how many? There's four. Minimum of four damage. There's five. Minimum of four damage. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Right, yeah. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Let's roll it. There, there you go. There'll be six. Two yeah. at six. Two at six and two at four. Let's Three see if I get. No. No. They are brown bread. No. Okay. Centurion's dead. Do you want to consolidate? No. Okay. Let me just check where I am around there. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just fine, I'll sit there. So, we'll be back with no fight backs. I can't see what I score, but... Uh, what did you score? So you got... So I do get Reek on that turn. I will get that way a little bit. You get two for engage. Yeah. Um, and I do kill quite a lot that turn. I kill the Blade Guard and the Centurions. That's it though. Even though oh, I'll kill two of them, but they're still not a unit, is it? Yeah, yeah. So I've killed two. Okay, we'll be back with White Scar's turn three. Okay, so up to three CP, which is nice. Um, I need to, I just need to do everything to stop Tom scoring points. So as much as I can, just to start taking things off. I've got to do my litanies. So I'll do uh, the litany of hate, so the re-rolls doesn't go off, and then Mantra of Strength doesn't go off. So the chaplain is not buffed at all. Um, I think that is about all we've got to do in the command phase. I'm just gonna try and basically kill as much stuff as I can and just leave Mortarion on his own. Good shout. Okay, Smash Captain has flown over here to try and kill this man, stop him scoring 15 points. These have moved up. These have moved up round to try and get some shooting on these as well. Try and get them off that objective. These guys have moved over to clear some stuff. Chaplain's moved up, try and deal with Araman, so has this ATV. The Apothecary has moved just as a bit of screening. This is all just uh, Mortarian screening, really, just to try and keep him here um, and not absolutely decimating everything else it doesn't matter as long as he's not scoring points he ain't stopping you know yeah you to keep busy don't you yeah i mean he's gonna kill me at the end of the day it's just yeah. trying to score outscore yeah, you whilst outscore, he's yeah. doing it okay so we're gonna go into the shooting phase is that one minus one as well uh no because they're assault bolters oh, okay right. so chaplain into the um rubrics oh my god wow then we'll do him into the rubrics. So six shots and then fours, two wounds, two up saves. Two up saves. No, oh, one. One's dead. Ooh. One's dead. And no. then two metal shots, one hit, one wound. Loves it. Saves it. Bolt brings him down, but not metal. Okay, so then we'll do. All of the Melter into Araman. You can't, it's his character, isn't it? Yeah, but you're less than three now. Oh, yes, you're right, yes. Yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, so I'll do all, all of the Melter into Araman, and then I'll do all of the bolt that. guns into them. Okay, um, Melter. Oh. And then... Two. Twos. Uh, Just two wins. Hang on. I'm going to re-roll that. Yep, three wounds. One goes through. Up and D6 plus two for six. Can't D8. believe that. I'd have put the minus one on him if we got, completely forgot. And then. Uh, five? Five. Five two ups, yeah? Yeah, five two ups, yeah. 
they're both dead. Oh, okay. It's actually a bit annoying because I wanted to get on the objective. <laughs> okay, um, such is life. So next up, we'll do the bikes at the back yep. into these guys over here. So four mount shots. Um, sorry, I paid a CP to, I would have paid a CP okay, to fine. advance yeah. and, and shoot. So I'm down to one CP. Uh, that is three wounds. That's two dead. Okay. And then the- Eradicator's gonna nuke them. And then the other shots, the bolters. One, two up. Uh, another one dead. And then fall apart. Two hits, two wounds. Come on, sorcerer. No, you're dead. There you go. Okay. Again. I know. I'm sort of wanted to get that objective. Okay. Is that? All the shooting done. Or shoot, I could shoot. Into I could shoot into more. I'll shoot. Um, Captain, I'm bike gonna shoot them. Nah, he's he advanced. Um, so I shoot them guys into more. It's not gonna do anything. So it's just fun, isn't it? It is. Fun if I'm hit. Three hits. No wounds. There you go. Okay. Uh, let's not waste any more time. So charges. We're gonna charge into. Yep. Here. He's in. He's going to come around to here, so he's on the objective. And then we are going to um, six attacks. But I'm hitting on threes, wounding yeah. on twos. Yeah. So hitting on threes, four wounds, wounding on twos. Uh, do I lose, use my last? He's only got a five out of him, but... How many wounds he got? Five. Uh, it's not sure if I can risk it. For a didn't job. you just CP something? I did a different phase now. Oh yeah, see. I got it's my last CP. I'm gonna let's CP it. Yeah, so four. I've got to make sure he's dead because it's fifteen yeah, points. Yeah, he's yeah, dead. and it was right. I, I well. haven't got a CP to re-roll it. No, that is a gutted. Uh, that no. Okay, so Morty versus Morty versus the world. <laughs> So we'll be, I score, um, I'm gonna consolidate to here to score engage yep. for free. Um, I score another six for assassinate. Well, don't you have to go towards Morty, but you still get it anyway. Don't you? Yeah, because that is still close yeah, to okay. Morty, yeah. Um, and then six for assassinate, and I'll get more for a Paul the Witch as well, but I'll wait cool. on a second. So we're back for turn four. Turn four. For Let's do it. Mortarian. Right, turn four. I've got one model left. He's You're just up to one CP. A one CP, and he's just going to go on a rampage two turns and see how much fun he can have. No, no primary, so we'll, no see, we'll see what happens. We just take it to him. Okay, Mortarion has moved to here, um, and he is going to go into the psychic phase. Yeah. He's basically just going to try and wreck everything. He's going to try and jump over, kill some stuff over here. Yeah. So he's yeah. going to do uh, first thing. Going to do a smite from him into that so, one repulsor. Yep. Yeah. Goes off. Uh, okay, this explode. This is gonna kill it. No, don't explode, do the right. opposite, right one. So that's out of here. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna do Miasma Pestance on himself. Need to five, doesn't go off. Um, can't do another psychic power. So he can do some shooting. So he's gonna do two D6 grenades into the- Your pop three. Yeah. It's a 11. Ooh, nice. He's angry. He is angry. He's hungry. He's hangry. So hit him on twos, re-roll on ones. Uh, wound on threes. So that is five, mate. Minus one? Yeah. Uh, so four ups. So two go through, and then six up through no pains. Yeah. So one, one goes through, so he's gone four. Sound of four wounds. You could charge. I mean, normally I just charge your pocket three, but who's he charging? I'm going to charge Chaplin and him and him and him. But obviously, you're I'm not going to be able to get all three of them. No, but oh so yeah, you can't. Yeah, you won't be able to feed. So you have to. Okay, both of these. So you're nominate ATV and Chaplin. Yeah, I've got CP. You need about a. We'll just measure it first. Yeah, you better have a measure up of that, mate. 
So there will get me in. Yeah. So what's that? Nine. Yeah, nine to do it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, nine is charge. It's a big one. Gets, Gets in with ten. ten. So he's gonna just jump over. Yep. Face both of these. Mm -hmm. So he's not gonna he's not gonna Oh I've got no CP. And he's got no in bond, has he? Yeah, he's got four in bond. He's got four in bond, has he? Chap, isn't he? Oh, I thought he's no. got Rosarius in bond. Oh, yes, he has, yeah. Okay. God. What do you think these Space Marine characters are? You think the transhuman, didn't you? That's what you were thinking. I was thinking it? about transhuman, but I haven't got any CP. Okay, so we're gonna put four on him and three on the ATV. Okay. And the D6 Nurglings will go on the ATV. ATV, yeah. Yeah. So four on who? Four, four on, on the chaplain. chaplain. Okay. Hit him on two, do you roll the ones? Into a one. Oh. No. Wound on two, do you roll the ones? All wounds, four wounds. Come on, four up. Oh no. I say, oh, I need to make yeah. one. He's dead. ATV? Um, yep. Yeah. And he's dead. Yep. They're both dead. Cool. And I'll consolidate back into the apocryphy because I should be within three to get on to him. He can fight me all he wants, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You're not going to want to consolidate into him, mate. He was going to mash you up. He's going to wreck me <laughs> up. So I've killed three things that turn. Uh, yes, you did. Okay, You're so we'll be back with White Star's turn. Okay, come on, FaZe, I've got up to one CP. Woohoo! Um, then I'm gonna hide. That's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide and try and score as many points as possible. That is the plan. Okay, movement. These have just backed off over there, just to try and stay out of as much range of Morty. These have jumped onto this objective, these have jumped onto that objective, and he has jumped onto this objective. So I did score, um, I only scored 10, no, I did score um, 15 for primary. Yes, yeah. So we're just gonna do the uh, melters into Mort, just cause, why not? And then roll really badly. Oh, minus yeah, one, of course, yeah. Uh, didn't even wound. Oh, okay. Okay, that was pointless. Um, that's the end of my turn. I score free for engage. Okay, so we're just going to talk out. Um, we just quickly rolled. The apothecary's dead. He's going to jump over. He's going to butcher these infiltrators. There's uh, nothing that I can do about it, really. Um, which is fine. So that would be the Mortarion Sound 5. Then my guys would get objectives. These two in the middle move down to here so that I'd get free for engage because that's all the points I can score. So that is the end of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a wrap up, come back, and we'll let you know the scores. Okay, so end of the game. Um, it ended up finishing 93 points to the White Scars to 47 to the Chaos. The Whitewash. Oh, wow, you did. smashed me. I, at the beginning, I was I was really worried. You obviously wiped this corner out. You Magnus came up, and I was like, when the Centurion survived, I thought, okay, that's good. And then I thought, and I looked at it, and I thought, I can get the bike over, I can get the chaplain over. The chaplain got yeah, his buffs yeah. off. And I thought, oh, hang on, I might be able to kill yeah. Magnus. And the fact that I killed Magnus that turn, that changed the game. Because I then got um, some other bits... He depleted you a little bit, yeah. and then he didn't have enough to like, really hold objectives. No, no. So um, the thing for me is, is obviously, I made a few, quite a few mistakes that game. You know, um, the, the bringing the Terminator Sorcerer in the corner over there was a massive mistake. I wanted to cap that objective, but I didn't think about the bikes. Just you know, just one of the things you do it. You know, you just yeah, yeah. Because um, you were thinking about bringing him down, bringing him down in this I corner. I should have brought him down that corner. Yeah, but you were like, oh, I can get. What he thought is, I can get some powers off and and hit the bikes, but then he. Probably you probably didn't think. Oh, actually, I'm not going to kill them, and then they're going to kill me. No, no, you've yeah. made the mistakes, and, yeah, and yeah. also as well, the the centurions here. So I said before that if I'd a, we had a discussion about can you transhuman? You said about the bike, so I thought I'll try and kill them. But actually, I should have just like I originally said, go kill the centurions because they can come back. Yeah, because you origi he originally said I'm going to put all of the attacks into the centurions, and I was like, oh, okay, and then you were like, no, nah, actually, I'm going to. And to be fair, you probably should have killed the Centurions. No, it's the fact you can bring them back, because yeah. the Centurion, um, the ability from the Apocrypha is so yeah. strong to bring heal and bring To be back. fair, though, if you think, though, I've paid, what, 
I've got 115 points in that apothecary plus um, warlord trait. Definitely. Plus a warlord trait. So all I did was I healed two wounds on an ATV. I healed three wounds on a centurion, and I brought one centurion back to life. Yeah, true. Yeah. So it's yeah. not exactly OP, is it? I spent no. 115 points, and I didn't even get 115. No, it's a strong. It's a strong ability, though. Still, it's, it's a it's massively strong yeah. ability if it's used like you know. I could have then rushed some bikes over and got another one back yeah. and stuff like that. So it is really, really good, but I don't think it's, it's really strong when you're putting it with something like Dark Angels and they've got a four up, you know, you've got your Transhuman, you've got your Invans, yeah, and every time you kill, it. it takes so much to kill one and then suddenly they're coming back to life. Yeah. But in a li list like this with White Scars, they're so squishy, the, I what you're they've got no invun, so I don't think it's that OP in this list. But no, I was just more concerned about all the Melter because it's the first time I played against all the new Melter and I was like, yeah. In my head, just thinking, I can't have D6 plus de two damage, all that hitting me. Yeah, so yeah. I was more concerned about keeping you away. But actually, Mortarion is actually more tanky than what I give him credit for in my head. Yeah. So I should have just threw him up there a bit earlier. Yeah, like Tom was saying, he should have thrown Mortarion in rather than throwing Magnus in, which I, I was, wasn't was sure you were going to do. When you have Magnus over here, you moved him up, and then you moved Morty there. I thought you were going to move Magnus to Morty, that, and then move Morty here. It was a good game, and maybe yeah. we had fun. I had lots of fun. Yeah, and, it was uh, great. You know, it's good fun. It's good, and you know, you got to have all these practice games. You got to go over these yeah. three, through these things. We haven't really played enough competitive games in ninth edition to, it's hard. to really it's... see anything. And also, you could go and you know, you might think, okay, I'm going to change something for the list, or you might think oh, I haven't played this list enough and need to play it more to get better with it. Yeah. Which I think is a big thing. We both need to play more with our lists it's to the, make sure. It's the thing is, a lot. You know, anyone watching this. If you're into the hobby as much as we are and stuff, you go from playing once a week, once every two weeks, and at the moment, like I have played probably in like months. Uh, yeah. So I, and even not, I'm not interested in tabletop simulator. No. So obviously it's hard to it's hard to get back into it, isn't it? Yeah, and you have to play it regularly to to be, yeah. especially when you're playing a competitive game. You've got to be on the ball all the time, yeah. with stratagems with everything else, yeah. and oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and you get out of it. It just takes a little while to get back into it, but. Um, yeah, it was a good game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. And we will see you in the next one. I'll Stay be, lucky. I will be back on when Bellacor comes out. As soon as you'll get him, yeah. he'll be on the channel. That'll take him about 10 years to paint it. But after that, he'll be on the channel. <laughs> no, he's top priority. <laughs> okay. We'll see you soon.